But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be sons of your Father who is in heaven. For he makes the sun rise on the evil and on the good. He sends rain on the just and the unjust. Matthew 5, 44, 45. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. I'm Don. I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace. For life in this word. And I just release it right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Glory. <clears throat> Glory. I was just kind of thinking about this word on the trail this morning. I wasn't giving it much thought. And still haven't really given it a whole lot of thought. But I'm, I want to approach this from kind of a different angle. I, I want to come. I want to come from an angle that says, you know, we think that uh, God's thoughts are our thoughts, and our thoughts are God's thoughts. When, when the truth of the matter is, ninety-nine point nine 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 percent of the time, our thoughts don't line up with God's thoughts. <laughs> the things that we count as unrighteous, <laughs> God might not have anything to say about. And the things we count as righteous, God might have a whole lot to say about it. just want to come with a quick message this morning that we need to love people right where they're at. Even if they're persecuting us. I heard a story, uh, I don't know if I read it or if I heard it. But uh, these brothers were, uh, no, I, I watched it, that's what it was. These brothers were were over in the Middle East hiking and somehow they ended up getting out of the country that they were in and into Iran and they got arrested as spies and uh, one of the brothers they kept torturing these guys for information and one of the one of the brothers he wanted to die he was ready to commit suicide and the Lord told him that he wasn't gonna he wasn't gonna die he was gonna live that he wasn't called to commit suicide this guy was so despondent and, and and think about this for a second I'm gonna stop right here think about how many people are so despondent about the way things are nowadays they're, they're like a bunch of chicken littles the sky is gonna fall and back to this guy you know they get despond I'm gonna stop there they get despondent and they begin to spit out negative things negative things and it looks bad on the kingdom of God Okay, back to this guy who wanted to commit suicide because things were so bad because they were beating him every day. And finally, Jesus came into his room. He wasn't there the whole time. It was like the guy was struggling and he felt like he was on his own. He had no help. He didn't have any, I mean, it just got sucked right out of him. And finally, he was going to commit suicide. God said, no, you're not going to do that. Jesus came to his room. I don't think he... I, Thinking back on this, I don't think he came in, in any kind of form. I think it was just an inner thing. And uh, the guy went in and he began to talk to the tor torturer. He asked him what his name was. And he told him he forgave him. And he began to share the love of God with him. And the, and, and the torturer broke down and began to cry. I don't think that all happened at once. I think it happened over a period of time. But but the point is, is he began to love his enemy. And he began to pray for those who persecuted him. And in that, he learned how to love the unlovable. In that, he, he learned how to be a son of the Father. He recognized that his thoughts about things were so bleak and hopeless that they didn't line up with the heart of the Father. And how often do our thoughts not line up with God's thoughts? How often do our ways not line up with His ways? How often do we cast seeds of sin thinking that we're doing good? Look at the world around you. Listen to the people around you. Read what they're writing and see how much negativity is in, in the church. Jesus died for everybody, not just the chosen few. And I just want to say thanks for coming to sit with me this morning. You're awesome.
I want to bless you. I thank you, Lord God, for your mercy and your grace on this word today. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, we'll see you. Bye.